Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use gradient in Adobe Illustrator and how to save it. So now we are going to create a basic shape. So I'm going to simply click on the rectangle tool and I'm going to, you know, draw a rectangle there. And as you notice right here, I have already selected gradient and you can see the gradient here. So what you'll need to do now is you'll need to have the gradient window open. So you'll need to click on window and you'll need to move over gradient and click on it. So once you click on it, it will look like this. All right. So now as you notice, these are the gradient options. So now we have two points and this is our gradient and how it appears. So now this is the gradient slider and uh, you know there are two points so this one is one point of the slider and at the other end there is another point and as you notice this one is white and this one is black so and you see it right here this side is black and the left side is white so if you want to increase black you can simply drag this pointer to the left and once you do that you'll notice that that left you know that black color will increase in our gradient so now if I want to add another color right here I can simply click here you, you see when I move my mouse over here it shows a plus sign so one click there you should see another pointer and that means that's another color so to change this color what you can do is you can simply double click on it and it will show you the color bar so now as soon as this is the grayscale ramp but i want it to, you know i want to choose some other colors you know if you're on grayscale click on this little thing at the top right then you go to RGB so click on RGB and you should see all of the colors so now we are going to change this color to something like blue and as soon as it's blue now and in the middle is black and we have some white here so I want to remove white from here so double click on the white and again you can simply click here and change it to RGB and then you can choose a color so let me choose maybe choose something like this all right so now you, know, you can also delete a pointer by one clicking on it and then you can click on the trash can right here so to delete stops so as you notice right here so this is the left side color and it's bl uh, blue in the middle we have black color and right side we have blue color so now you can change the angle all right so as you notice it's zero degrees right here but one click on it and you can simply change it to 90 degrees for example and it will switch it and you can also adjust that here you can, you can move it up and down and you can rotate it right here you know it's up to you what you want to do with it and you can change the type also so this is the type, for example, radial becomes a radial gradient, but I'm going to go with the linear gradient. So to save the gradient, what you'll need to do is you'll need to have the properties menu open. So if you don't see the properties menu that like I do, you can click on window and then you can click on properties right here. So one click on it and you should see it. So once you have it right here, you can simply choose the selection tool right here so when you do that and when you select the object you will notice that in the appearance you should see your gradient so now if I one click on the gradient now we can save this as a swatch so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click here and it says new swatch so I'm going to one click on it and then it will ask me to enter a name so I'm going to name it swatch my swatch alright and then I'm going to click on ok so once you click on ok it will be in your swatches so now you know even if I change this color for example if I change the foreground color 
you know if everything is gone now let's say that we have changed the colors and now we have another let's say we have another shape so let's say that I want to use that gradient again so what I'll need to do now is I'll need to click on window and then I'm going to click on swatches so look for swatches so let me see if I can find swatches right here so just click on swatches and you should see all of your colors and as you notice we have a gradient here so now if I choose this shape if I click on that gradient that gradient will be applied and as always you know you can come here and you can click on edit gradient and you can you know change it and do whatever you want so please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all later